Welcome to the Jim Florentine Comedy Metal Midgets Podcast. I'm Riotcast.com. Uh, this week, September 24th through the 26th, I'll be at the Stress Factory in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Then October 8th through 10th, the Funny Stop, Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. October 16th, 17th, New Hope Cinema in New Hope, Minnesota. And then I'm going to come to I'm coming to St. Louis November 19th through 21st at the Funny Bone. And then uh, Hyenas Comedy Club in Plano, Texas in December, the 10th through the 12th. Comedy Connection, Providence, Rhode Island, December 18, 19. And um, New Year's Eve, Mount Airy Casino in Mount Pocono, Pennsylvania. Some all other dates. They're up on JimFlorentine.com. Go there for all info. I got a YouTube channel. Just type in Jim Florentine on YouTube. I don't know. There's fucking like four different ones, but you'll see the real one there. I'm posting all my podcasts up there too, so if you don't subscribe to iTunes or all that bullshit or don't know where to get it, it will be up on my YouTube channel like a couple days after it gets released on a Monday, so you can listen to the shit there too. Just make it easier. I know people don't like Apple shit. I don't blame you. You don't want to deal with iTunes. I get it, so it'll be up there. It'll be easy access. Uh, All right. That's it. Let's fucking move on. Let's get to the podcast, you know. Um, it's football theme. Football just started the season. Uh, a fan of the podcast, Matt, sent me an email about a week ago. He said, this might be a good idea for a podcast. And it was like the 25 funniest fantasy football team names on some fucking dork nerd website. And he and he sent a bunch of them over, and I looked at it, and I was like, holy shit. Is this, is this what they find funny? So I said, you know what? This will be a good podcast. Awful fantasy football team names. I am so sick of this fantasy football shit. You guys notice every commercial, if you watch any kind of football, watch how many times there's a fantasy football commercial. Who gives a fuck? We know it exists. Got every fucking commercial. It's a fantasy. You play one day. Just fucking horrendous. Just jam down your throat. Enough. We know it's football season. People play fantasy football. They know. They're all into Everybody's talking about it. You can't go anywhere without overhearing that conversation. They got my fantasy team. They. Yeah, all right, so enough with the fucking commercials with that shit. Ah, it's maddening. Fucking maddening. So anyway, I decided, I saw those names. It was definitely brutal enough, and I found a few other ones. Because that's what you have to do if you're a fantasy football. You, You have to name your team. You draft your team, and then you have to come up with a name. And then you're in a league, and there's a commissioner. It's real fun. It's a lot of fun. It's just, it's, you know, it's, like I say, coming up, nothing fun about it. Really isn't. So that's what this is going to be. Awful fantasy football team names. <laughs> I'm so disgusted. It's, make, it's giving me allergies just talking about fantasy football. That's how much I'm disgusted by it. Just watch the game. Seriously, just watch it. Please, just watch it. And we always end this podcast with a song. There's a band out there called the Butcher Babies. Two girl lead singers. I've seen them a few times. They're really good. They're hard, heavy, thrash. Great live. I really like this band a lot. Um, I think they got three albums out now, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, check them out if you dig the sound. I don't know, you might, but they got a new album now called uh, Take It Like a Man, which I love that fucking title. And uh, this is a song called Monster's Ball. Butcher Babies, Monster's Ball. And then, um, yeah, awful fantasy football team names. Oof. I'm just aggravated even thinking about it. Yeah, it's football time. Fantasy football time. Now, every time you have a conversation about football, anybody around, oh, I got him on my fantasy team. He was he used to be on my fantasy team. Enough. 
This is what people should do. If you if if you play fantasy football, you should have to wear a fucking a name tag. I play fantasy football just so other people can read that. Like, oh, let's talk about it because everybody else that doesn't play it doesn't give a fuck. We don't want to be part of those conversations. We don't want to hear it. I don't give a shit that you had this guy in your team, Jordy Nelson, and his knee. He blew out his knee, and he's out for the season. I, I drafted him. I had him on my team. All right. People that don't play it don't give a fuck. So keep it to yourself. That's the worst thing about football. Starting that and the, you know, the, the commercials and all that other bullshit, all the fucking Peyton Manning commercials and all that other crap. Papa John's, his shit. But every fucking conversation. Oh, I had him on my fantasy team. Yeah, he wasn't good when he was on my fantasy team. Enough. Why? Why did this take over football? No other sport. That's all you got to do. You go, you go on Twitter or Facebook or anywhere. Hey, it's my draft. We're having a, a serious draft here. You see everyone with their laptops open, scratching their head in the picture with beers and food around. Ooh, that sounds, that's crazy. What a fucking fun party. I can't believe I'm not there. That sounds like a blast. Yeah, we're working hard. We take this serious. Do you really? You take it serious? I got this uh, very fancy football team. I've heard your excuses. It's fun. No, that's not fun. I'm sorry, you're wrong. You are wrong. Not fun. You know, my nephew just went into high school. Um, so he's in a new high school and stuff, and, you know, he's trying to find friends and all that stuff. And you know what? If that's how you have to relate and find friends, a bunch of kids in the fantasy football, perfect. You're a kid. You want to meet friends. You want to hang out. You want something to talk about. There's grown men that are doing that, that think it's fun. Do they have anything else going on in their lives? Are they that married and miserable with kids? And this is a little outlet for them. Is that what it is? Yeah, but I can, you know, you watch games that you don't really care about. You know, you watch the Chiefs and the Raiders on a Thursday night because I got, I got the, the, the Chiefs defense. Yeah, I got the Chiefs defense. Oh, is that what you So you watch that on a Thursday night? Because you have the Chiefs defense on your fantasy football team. And what? The Chiefs run an interception back. The Chiefs defense. One of the guys runs, gets an interception, runs it all the way back. And we, oh yeah, I got, my, I got more points. Yeah, and I got that running back on the, on, on, the, on the Raiders. Oh, he just rushed for 100 yards. There's more points. Are you texting other people in your league? You see, I'm racking up points tonight. That's what's fun? Seriously, that's what you call fun. Ah, I don't want to hear that theory. I just, you know, you watch games that you wouldn't watch. Why? Because you would just want to watch to see if your fucking receiver catches a pass. That's all you do. You don't give a shit about when the other team has the ball, obviously. So you just wait for the other team, your team, that the guy's on so he can catch a pass. That's what you're spending three hours, which it's only 11 minutes of action, actual action in a three-hour football game. So you're sitting there for three hours watching 11 minutes of action, sitting through fucking commercial after commercial after commercial, just to see that receiver who will only play like maybe 40 plays a game, hopefully catch a pass so you can rack up points. And you think that's fun. Think about that. You went to bed late. The game doesn't start till 8.30. So it's not even over to 11.30 if you watch the whole game. You usually go to bed, I don't know, 10.30 or so. Now you're fucking tired the next day. Your sleep pattern's all off. Just to watch that receiver play 40 plays 
and maybe the ball get thrown to him five to seven times. You sat there for three hours for that, and you think that's fun? That's fun? The Chiefs defense, yeah, they only let up 182 points a yards the whole game. They got a Chiefs defense. That's what you did? You just can't watch it because you like football? I just watch him because I like football. That's it. It makes it more interesting. You're invested in every game. Every game means something. Ugh. You hear these fucks. Every game means something. Really, everyone does? Every game does. Ugh. You know, I've done a fantasy football podcast before. Everybody knows I hate it. Everybody's always fucking sending me messages. How's your fantasy football team doing? I get it. I laugh. It's funny. I know what you're doing. It's all good. It's been pretty much done. Um, but Matt sent me an email the other day about Twenty five fantasy football names to make well the article was about fantasy the 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 best fantasy football names out there now this is the article the best funniest fantasy football team names on some fucking awful website with a fucking million ads on it. You can't even get through the fucking shit, but he picked out the ones that I wouldn't like. And sent it to me, and I was reading a couple of them when I got the email. I'm like, ugh, oh, brutal. And I said, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. Awful, awful fantasy football team names. Because, look, if you're fantasy football, you play fantasy football, you're a nerd. That's the bottom line, all right? And just get over it. If you're a nerd, you're a nerd. Own up to it. Fucking deal with it. So, yeah, I'm a nerd. I want people to go, yeah, I'm a nerd. I like this kind of stuff. Okay, that's fine. You know, you admit it. It's not bad being a nerd. You're not fucking inferior. It's not an insult to be a nerd. Nerds are pretty much taking over everything. It's, it's not a problem. It's not a bad thing to be a nerd. But just admit you're a nerd if you play fantasy football. Because like I've said before, it's like Dungeons and Dragons. If you play Dungeons and Dragons growing up, you're going to play fantasy football if you get into football. That's the next logical step. It's the Dungeons and Dragons of fucking of football to be on a fantasy. You realize it's a fantasy football. Fantasy. It's not real. You're living in a fantasy world. It's fantasy. You get it? A fantasy. You're not living in the real world if you think it's fun and you're spending all that time to watch all the games because you're worried about what your receiver is going to catch. That's not fun. And just the babbling that goes on. But you have to have a team name. Because that's, you know, you have to. That's part of the fun. Isn't it part of the fun if you got you make up a team name? <sighs> now, you know, if they play fantasy football, you're going to be a fucking nerd. You're going to have an awful name. A fucking, 
name that's not funny, that's nerdy, basically. Like, oh, a nerd came up with that most of the time. Once in a while, you get a fucking a good name. Okay, now this guy for his team, for Andrew Luck, I guess he's got Andrew Luck, the quarterback on his team. His team's name is the, the Luck Ness Monster. You know, I could have probably went and took a shit for 10 minutes and came back and just left this thing running. That's how much silence that needed. The Loch Ness Monster. You imagine like you're in that fantasy football league or whatever and you see like an email or wherever site you go to and you see the names and you see that. Would anyone laugh at that? The Loch Ness Monster because his name is Andrew Luck. Or anything, think that was clever. Go, that's a good one. Ha, 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 and laugh. Nobody would. Rob Gronkowski. Party like a Gronk star. Party like a Gronk star. Would anyone laugh at that if they saw that? That's what I'm picturing. When you're in that league and you have to look at the standings for the first time, you go, who the fuck named their team party like a Gronk star? Oh, this is a great one. For Tom Brady. The team name is Brady Gaga. Not Lady Gaga, Brady Gaga. That's funny. I mean, look, I mean, I, I could see a lot of people laughing at that. You guys are probably laughing at this right now. You know, people tell me they listen to the podcast on the train, uh, headphones at work or whatever like that, and they laugh, and people are like, what the hell are you laughing at? You know, and they're like, you know, like, ah, nothing, don't worry about it. I'm sure you guys bursted into fucking laughter on that one. Brady Gaga. You think that person that came up with that name is any fun would it be fun to hang out with? Jamal Charles. is a running back. His, uh, the name is Jamal about that base. You know, because the song, uh, I'm all about the base or whatever the fuck that is. And everybody says something different. So they get Jamal about that base. That's funny, right? Yes, yes, yes. You get it? I'm all about that base, but Jamal about that base. See, because it's kind of. Yeah. I got it. I got it, motherfucker, and it stinks. JJ Watt. Here's a good one. Turn down for what? I guess that's a, a, a song. I don't even know. I wouldn't know that. Turn down for what? Just that it's, you know, turn down for what? I don't know if he's going for that or a song. Either way, brutal. What's your team name? If you play a fantasy, what's your team name? Uh, turn down for what? 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 Dwayne Bow, a receiver, isn't somewhere over the Dw- somewhere over the Dwayne Bow. These are fucking grown men. These are not little kids coming up with these names. If my five-year-old son came up with that name, I go, all right, no, that's good. I like that. I like that. That's because he's five. That's why I would say that. If he was 10, I'd fucking throw him out on the street. Somewhere over the Dwayne Bow. Oh. 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 
Anyone find that funny? You look at the standings week one. That's what I'm just picturing looking at these standings. Who is someone over at Dwayne Bowl? That's me. That's me. I came up with that one because he's on my team. <sighs> Brandon Marshall, receiver. His na- this guy's name. Forgetting Brandon Marshall. He, he get it because it's uh, the movie Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Forgetting Brandon Marshall. Isn't that funny? That's clever. That's a good one. Come on. That's funny. Oh, you play fantasy football? Yeah, yeah. I'm in three leagues. I'm in three leagues. Yeah, what's the name of your team? Uh, uh, Forgetting Brandon Marshall? Huh? I don't get it. No, you know, you know, Brandon Marshall. You know, yeah, I know the receiver. Yeah, you know the movie, Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Yeah, well, I just, you know, I just, yeah, you know, I don't know. I, you know, I got on my team, so I just figured I'd call Forgetting Brandon Marshall. And then I would just go, "Do you? Did you forget that you're a grown man? Did you?" Let me look at your license. Take it out. You're 41. And that's what you came up with. Forgetting Brandon Marshall. Are you proud of yourself? Is that fun? Nah, we have a good time. I like that movie. So what? I like fucking Pulp Fiction. What does that mean? I like Save It Private Ryan. I'm a Dolphin fan. Am I going to fucking have... If I have Ryan Tannehill on my team, I got to go... Saving Ryan Tannehill. He he, he got it. He he, he, he got it. See, because I I got Ryan Tannehill. He's my quarterback. So, Saving Private Ryan. Remember the movie? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Saving Ryan Tannehill. It's it's funny, right? That thought wouldn't even come into my fucking head. Even though it did, because I was just... I went to a fucking dark nerdy, fucking awful place. That's the only reason that one came into my head. But if it did, I would try to get it out as soon as possible. It's almost like seeing like, I don't know, seeing like a 14-year-old girl walk down the street and you look at her ass. You don't even know she's 14 and she turned around like, holy shit, what the hell? I, 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 I'm not looking that way. That's fucked up. I had no idea, but that's what, that's what that came, when that came in my head, I wanted to get that thought out that quick. Like when you look at some girl in the pool and you're like, oh man, and then, you, then she turns around and she's got brace on. You're like, oh, oh, fuck. Whoa. And you forget it real quick. Here's another one. Ju- uh, Julio Jones. Julio think you are. Let me repeat that. Julio think you are. (sighs) Levon Bell. The guy's fantasy football team name is Levon A Prayer. I guess like the Bon Jovi living on a prayer, leave on a prayer. I hope that was a girl that came out with that. I really do. You know, she's a Bon Jovi fan. That's one of her favorite songs. She likes to sing it in the bar with her friends when they go out. I get it. Please, please tell me that was a female that came up with that. Leave on a prayer. Now, here's another movie reference. You ready? This is a good one. Matthew Stafford. Inglorious, inglorious Staffords. You get sent instead of inglorious bastards, inglorious Staffords.
Good, right? It's a good one. What's your team? Inglorious Staffords. Did you spell that wrong? No, no. It's just, you know, like it's a play on words because, you know, I got Matthew Stafford on my team. You know, and, I, and you know, the movie Inglorious Bastards. So I just did it. Inglorious Staffords. That's the response. It's just seven seconds of silence. And just look the guy right in the fucking eye. With just disgust and disdain. The Dominic Sue. You ready for this one? Kung Su Panda. Not Kung Fu. His last name is Sue. Kung Su Panda. You realize this article said it was like the the 20 the funniest fantasy football names. And this is in there, Kung Su Panda. Odell Beckham Jr. The team name is Bend It Like Beckham Jr. These are the fucking funniest fantasy. That's why you realize what I'm talking about. When they, this is all they can pull out. They think these are the funniest fantasy football names. Richie Incognito, going incognito. Are you fucking kidding me? Wes Welker, Welker, Texas Ranger. He, he got it. Welker, Texas Ranger. The funniest fantasy football team names for 2015. Gronky Kong. Yeah, my team name is Gronky Kong. Yeah, of course. You played fucking video games when you were younger. Donkey Kong. I get it. Marshawn Lynch. Fourth and Lynch's. What would... Could somebody, can we do this? Like if somebody has a fantasy football team, they're bragging about it to What's the name of your team? And if it's an awful name, can you just berate them? It needs to be done. And they'll be mad at you. You're no fun. What the fuck, dude? You snapped on me. I didn't snap on you. I don't like it. And I'm allowed to tell you I don't like it. It's fucking stupid. All right? Let's start doing that. This has got to stop. Fourth and Lynch's. Now, why would that be fucking funny? Marshawn Lynch. Okay, fourth and inches. Okay, that's a fucking uh, football reference. I get fourth and Lynch's. Why would you even come up with that? Even if you thought about that, you're like, ah, I just, uh, let me just, my name's Dave. I'll just call a team Dave. Why didn't you do that? Is that supposed to be clever, fourth and Lynch's? There's another one for J.J. Watt. He he bats down a lot of balls at the line. So, J.J. Swat. Oh, God. I hate that I'm a part of this. I hate that I'm a part of this football culture that I can't stop. I'm addicted to it. And I love watching it. I hate that I'm fucking... that, That I'm part of this. I'm part of a fucking J.J. Swat. Some fucking asshole that came up with that. I got to sit next to him in a sports bar while I'm on the road. And he's got fucking J.J. Swat on his team. I'm fucking, I don't like being part of this. But I have no choice. It fucking drives me nuts. Bill Belichick, there's a team... You know what this guy called his name? Discount Belichick. You get it? Discount Double Check, Discount Belichick. That's funny. That guy is a fucking bore. Because he thinks those Discount Double Check commercials are funny. They're fucking horrendous. 
and then he has to come off with this. Discount Belichick, that guy fucking stinks. Never said anything funny. And it's just fucking no fun at all. Which is fine. I get it if you're not, if you're not funny and you're a bore. But just keep it to yourself. Don't spread this shit out there. Why do people have to read that? Discount Belichick. I got a lot of emails about that Straight Outta Compton movie came out and was doing Straight Outta, whatever, Straight Outta. I just didn't feel like there was enough material there to do a whole podcast. It, draw, it, it bothered me. I started seeing a Straight Outta, whatever. And this guy's got a course. Straight Outta Gronkton. Oh, God. Some fucking corny white dude. Wearing a fucking Tennessee Titan jersey. Sitting in a sports bar with his papers out in front of him, looking at his stats or his little fucking iPad. That's who I picture came up with that. And he's got some wings, a Coke, and a water. And maybe he has some chips on the table, and that's it. And he's wearing his fucking Tennessee Titan jersey that says Mariotto on it, or whatever the fuck his name is. Because I don't know anybody else on that team. That's who came up with that. That guy. Ugh. 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 How about this one? You know, Cam Newton's a quarterback in the league. Ham Newton. (coughs) Ham Newton. Ham Newton. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Tim Tebow. Tebow's before hoes. You get it? Because it's a a play on the bros before hoes. Which no no one should ever say ever. Bros before hoes. <laughs> but T-bows before hoes. That's in the funniest fantasy football names of 2015. T-bows before hoes. Reggie Wayne, a receiver in the league. When it wanes, it pours. No, I'm sorry. I, I forget that because there's a, there's a, Frank Gore is a running back and Reggie Wayne receiver. When it wanes, it gores. Please, if you, th- if you, if you play fantasy football, do you, after this, do you, do you think about maybe I got to get out of this. If I could just get one person to go, I, I can't be part of this anymore. This is fucking too brutal. This is too corny. I can't deal with this. You really want to be involved in that fantasy football talk? Maybe you got Lord in the play and your friends did. You're like, all right, I don't know. Maybe in the office. All right, I'll fucking see what it's about. And you probably want out. Won't this podcast make you leave? Quit. Okay, I was in first. After the 1 o'clock games, I was in first. I had the Oakland defense. I got my fantasy football league. What's the score? Shut up. Shut up. There's a, a tight end slash fullback, Charles Clay. You want to know the team name? Fifty Shades of Clay. Fifty Shades of Clay. This is in the top 25 funniest fantasy football team names. You've got to be fucking kidding me. 
if this is what people pass off as comedy, I should be playing Madison Square Garden next week. Why am I not selling out three nights at the Garden if this is the top 25 fantasy football team's funniest names of 2015? The Luck Ness Monster is in there, and I'm playing a fucking a comedy club in a fucking strip mall. Something is wrong.